Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we have a 2018 Ford Fiesta and we're going to be taking a look at and I'm going to show you how to install the Roadmaster Diode Wiring Kit for flat towing. When you're flat towing your Ford Fiesta behind your motorhome, you're going to have to get the lighting signals from the back of your motorhome to the back of your Fiesta, much like when you're towing a trailer. You have to be able to let others know what your intentions are when you're going down the road. If you could imagine having another Ford Fiesta behind this rig, they would not be able to see the taillights on this motorhome. So you have to have these signals back here so that they know when you're turning left, when you're turning right, when you're driving at night so that the running lights are on, and when you're coming to a stop. There are a couple different options out there on the market to be able to get this lighting signal back to your taillight. Uh, one of which is going to be your magnetic lights. Uh, that is a very old way of doing things. I don't really like that method because you have to stick a magnet to the back of your vehicle and then route those, that four pole wire up and over your vehicle every single time you go to flat tow your car. Um, that one I don't really like. The uh, bulb and socket, another old traditional style where you drill a hole in the back of your taillights. I really do not like that one because factory taillights are not cheap and if you mess something up, you're gonna have to buy a whole new taillight. And you also cannot get any water in the backs of these taillights because it'll ruin your lights. Um, so I don't, I don't really care for those two options. Roadmaster makes a good option. Um, it's a stick-on, it's a non-invasive if you don't want to uh, worry about cutting into your factory wires. You can get theirs. They just have an LED strip that sticks on here and then you just route the wire, the four pole wire to the front of the vehicle. This diode wiring kit has got to be my favorite because the diodes are designed to protect the wiring on the vehicle and the wiring on the motorhome from any back feed either which way. This particular kit that we're talking about today is going to come with your six pole plug that gets mounted on the front of your Fiesta and the pigtail that goes from your Fiesta to the motorhome. If you already have a pigtail or you already have a six pole, um, lots of people will like to take some of the components off of their old flat towing vehicles and put it on their new ones. I don't particularly recommend that because um, the parts can corrode and stuff like that. I'd rather just start new with the plug. Your pigtail's fine to go ahead and reuse if it's, everything's still working properly. But needless to say, Roadmaster has lots of different kits available um, on our website that will include the pigtail, they'll include the six pole like this one does, or they're just the four pole wire in the diodes. In the case of if you have a tow bar like the Roadmaster Nighthawk, that's a great tow bar. If you buy it new, it's gonna come with a six pole plug and the umbilical cord included in the tow bar. It's already ran through the tow bar. I really like that tow bar, so if you're starting new, I would say get just the diode wiring kit that has the diodes, the four pole, and then get the uh, Roadmaster Nighthawk that will come with your umbilical cord and your six pole plug. As far as this installation goes, it's really not too bad. I would say probably the hardest part about it is gonna be running the four pole from the front of the vehicle to the back. Um, but other than that, it's really that even that part's really not that bad because the Ford Fiesta is not a super long vehicle, so you're going to have more than enough wiring to be able to get that done. But with that being said, let's go ahead and show you how we did it. To begin our installation, we're going to need to route a four pole wire from the front of our vehicle to the back. We started here at the front, I just ran it up and over our base plate. Obviously, our front bumper is not on our vehicle right now. We just got done doing the base plate. That's the best time to do this installation uh, for this wiring because you have much uh, more access to be able to route this wire. So I just ran it up here. I'm putting a stay and play duo from Demco on here for the braking system. So I put a small loop in it right here, went up and over the battery, and then I came back down, right about here, came back down, and then just followed the factory wiring all the way back using as many zip ties as, as you have. Um, you can use I would recommend putting one about every foot, every six inches or so. Ran it up here. You want to stay away from anything hot or moving when you're running this wire. Ran it up here, put a couple of zip ties around this, the filler tube, and then ran it through the frame just for a little bit, came back out, and then we ran it up to the taillight. Now we're back up top. We need to get our taillights out, and these are actually fairly easy to get out. See this little black tab here? We're just going to twist that, and that is the nut on the back side of our taillight. So let's twist it. It's like a big, it's like a tall wing nut. Spin that off. And then our taillight should just pop right out. We'll rotate out to the side. There is a little fastener down in here, that if you pry out real gently, this will come out of that little rubber grommet there. And from here, I'm just going to grab this harness and unplug it because this is what we're going to need to put our diodes into. We've tested the functions of our wires so that we know which ones to connect into. 
The uh, stop and turn signals, it's going to be the gray wire with the orange stripe on our driver's side. And then the purple wire with the, what looks like a green or a seafoam green stripe on it, is going to be our running light signal. So these are the two wires we're gonna connect into. What we need to do is we're gonna cut into each one of them, and then we'll strip back the end of each one of these. And this is gonna allow us to connect up our diodes to it. We're gonna take our crimper, crimp on the blue spade terminals on here. We'll crimp one onto each one of these. There's gonna be one yellow spade terminal in your kit. That is for the uh, running light wire that we ran from the front of our vehicle to the back. We're gonna to have to splice two wires together. That's why it's larger. We'll splice it in right here and then we'll be able to run one over to the other side. Now we've got our yellow and brown wires ran up from underneath. Again, you'll have to have two brown wires. You can take some of the uh, white wire if you have extra on it. We can run our two brown wires into that uh, spade terminal we were talking about earlier. The yellow one is a lot larger. And then we're gonna take our diodes. We're gonna put the yellow and brown wires we just ran up, one into each of our diodes. And those will go on one of the ends. And then the other ends will be your signals coming from our vehicle. And then the outs are going to be going back to our plug. I'm just gonna take these right now and stick them together because want to move around quite a bit so we don't have any damaged wires. I'm just gonna stick these together like this. Just make sure you keep it straight in your head which one is which. So our top one here, I need to match this wire up. We'll plug this one in down here. Now on our passenger side we routed our green and brown wires over here. The wires that we're working with are gonna be still in the same locations on the plug as, the, um, as on the driver's side, but they're different colors. The stop and turn signal is going to be a green with an orange stripe, and the um, running light signal is gonna be sort of a salmon color with an orange stripe. So we just wired up our uh, connections the same way we did on the driver's side. And for our ground wire, we just came out of our frame rail here and grounded it right to the frame. Now we're gonna mock up our six poles so that we can test out our diodes to make sure they're working properly. We'll start with our, the top prong, so with our uh, door facing down like the way it is so that it opens up. You wanna start at the top, that is going to be our brown wire, then our white wire, then our yellow, then green. Now we've got our taillights loaded back into the back of our vehicle. We'll go ahead and run through our basic functions to make sure our diodes are working properly. We'll start with our tail lights, our left turn signal, our brake lights, and our right turn signal. Well guys, once you get all of this buttoned back up, that's gonna do it for the installation. Well guys, hopefully this video helped you decide whether or not the diode wiring kit is right for you in your 2018 Ford Fiesta.